Tonight I am capturing a super long drone video in the city of New Orleans. It has to do with Christmas lights and videos. Anyway, waiting on my friend Mickey to show up. Remote check. Props check. Drone and batteries check. Phone. Check. Order. Check. Camera. Check. Now we look for Mickey. And Mickey's here. Hello. So last night was a super bust. Um, when me and Mickey got out to the uh, Canal Street to fly it, for some reason, my drone couldn't get any satellites, and even when I launched it and got a little up near, no satellites just kept floating around. Like it couldn't couldn't find satellites or anything, and it just couldn't get a good vision vision positioning system. Uh, updated the firmware last night. I had updated the app earlier in the week. I think that's one of the reasons. So hopefully everything's working out. And we're gonna try again tonight. But before we try again tonight, I have a meeting at UNO, University of New Orleans. So, to explain things, when I was getting my master's degree in teaching a few years back, some of my college professors, teaching professors, said I should get my MFA and film here at UNO because a huge interest in film. Um, I didn't do it because I just wanted to go and teach high school social studies and maybe start a film club at a school, maybe a few years down the line, maybe there might be a film class. Who knows? Of course, none of that worked out. Never got a chance to do any teaching, uh, any subsequent teaching. Um, so now here in my life, I'm at a crossroads and the thought has occurred to me, go back to school again, now to get my Master's of Fine Arts, because I had the opportunity, if I, was, if I had an MFA, to teach at a local school because a friend of mine had a connection and he thought I was going to MFA, not a master's in teaching. And I could have been a film professor or something like that. Um, but that didn't work out. So maybe I'm, so I'm thinking of getting an MFA so I can then go teach film at a, you know universities and make films on the side. Which is my ultimate goal is to teach and make films. Not just make films. Not just make television shows. So anyway, so I'm here today to meet one of the head people in charge of the the program here at UNO and ask questions about what's needed to apply and stuff like that. Very nice. So people might ask why UNO's film program. Um, there's University of New Orleans, there's Dillard University, you just got a film program. Uh, Tulane has one, I think, in some form. And Loyola, I think, has a media program. But UNO has been like the longest completely formed film program here in the New Orleans area in most of the state of Louisiana actually uh, LSU and University of Louisiana just more recently started creating some type of film program after the tax credits got here but UNO has been doing it way longer and one of the reasons why UNO is a lot better is see Robert E. Nims Theater well Nims is also the name or the Robert Nims um, uh, center over in Harehan, another part of the city, um, that has, is a full-fledged studio. It has multiple stages, all production offices, which you would expect. And currently, NCIS New Orleans uses a couple of the stages for their film sets for the show. And that gives you a hint at UNO's film program reach, that it has been here doing this longer. It has a dedicated studio system. Um, that's part of the university. Um, I know because I went on a tour. I think it was on. I went to a worked on a tour of the place. I think it was supposed to be for UNO uh, students, but I didn't know that. I just showed up anyway and got to see the tour of the NCIS New Orleans sets and the the facility and the theater room. But that's the reason why for, for UNO is is that's one thing they got going for them is their their heritage of their film program. Running late. Had to stop and use the bathroom first. So definitely shocked because there's some cool. Just 
got done with my meeting with the head person for the graduate film program here. It took a little while because she was in a meeting for a long time with another person. Uh, but just anyway, just got done. Got a bunch of answers. This way. Uh, just got a bunch of answers to questions I needed and explanations. That's always best to have when in person with someone versus just over email. So, but really cool meeting. Now it's four o'clock, traffic time. All right, so night two, try to get this drone stuff. <laughs> So, uh, bad news, uh, the drone crashed itself, it ran so low on battery that, what did it do, Mickey? It, should we say what it did? Yeah, just <laughs> say what it did. It landed on a power line. Yeah, it perched itself. And it thought it landed, so then it, it cut, cut off and rolled over. Yeah, it cut the motors, <laughs> and as soon as it cut the motors, it just went, <laughs> and in the process, it... Ripped the camera and gimbal off, cracked the, the frame in multiple, multiple spots. Yeah, so. So as the great Andrew Bowie would say, that's no bueno. No bueno. But whatever, it was a used drone to begin with. And it, I've had it for over a year and I've done a shit ton of flying with it, so. To me, right I got. At the end of, we were so close. Yeah, so yeah, close. so close. The, the cold weather just kept draining that lithium battery, and it, we were just look. I mean, there's the bridge right there, and all we had to do is just come down right there between that pole, that pole right there, and the bridge. And but it came down a little bit before, like right in here, perched on that wire, turned off the motors, and. Phew. And Mickey, you know, he's not, a, he's not an athlete. He tried to catch it. Tried. He, 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 you know, he tried to be like a wide receiver and catch it, but uh, <laughs> it was just a little too much out of his reach. But uh, no big deal. So that's it for tonight. Got some Taco Bell. Go think how I'm gonna deal with no drone. The reason why I don't have any drone footage of the crash is because I was actually trying to save battery life for the waypoints part. I didn't want to have to, the camera trying to record and write to a card and stuff, and that would, I knew that would eat up more battery life. So, I think the saddest thing is, is that I don't have footage of the crash, because it would have been epic. Yeah, this is the day after, and uh, I think the thing I'm most angry about is that I didn't get the shot. Mm -hmm.